Katrina, you began the discussion by saying that Donald Trump's objection to the judge in his fraud trial in California is not, these are your words, not solely based on ethnicity. So what you're saying there is Donald Trump is right, and you personally believe that some of the objection to the judge should legitimately be based on the judge's ethnicity. And so I'd like to ask you, what is your ethnic background? I am black and white. And you've said that the media has been saying for months that Donald Trump is racist. And you blame any perception that Donald Trump is racist on the media. And, but but you, you say that that's out there and therefore it is possible that Donald Trump could have a black judge who would be biased against him because he's black. And I'm just wondering how you Not would feel, how you would feel if a member of your family was in that position that that judge is in in California and a member of your family integrity as a judge was called into question on the on the on the basis that you've laid out here today which is if the media has labeled Donald Trump a racist therefore people out there think it and that judge might be one of them if that judge was related to you and Donald Trump wanted that judge knocked off of his case how would you feel about that well, I think that's a really nice try, but it's not the same, considering how Mr. Trump doesn't have a policy that the media has pitted against black Americans, like The Wall, like Anger Babies, like Amnesty. Those things are tied into that ethnicity that the media has been pushing for months. Has nothing to do with African Americans. In fact, Mr. Trump, after and Dr. Mr. Trump has not said anything having to do with African Americans, with the exception of creating jobs in the African American community, which have been failed miserably due to illegal immigration so it was a really nice try but it's just not going to work it's not the same thing and I understand the media and the talking heads out there are trying to make it the same thing but this this ethnicity is tied to Mr. Trump's policies specifically and birtherism birtherism is a policy what about that birtherism? birtherism is a policy that anchor causes babies? African Americans to Absolutely. excuse me what did you just say so you're talking about anchor babies no, I'm talking about birtherism. I'm talking about Donald Trump doubting that the president of the United States is an American, accusing him of faking his birth certificate. This is the oh, basis of African that was Americans. A policy. It is. It is the reason Donald Trump became uh, prominent a as a political figure in 2012. Were oh, you, I didn't you, realize you that was a policy. Is that a policy? I didn't Donald you said it was belief. a policy. But if Donald Trump, it's not a policy. But if Donald Trump is a birther, then could he not, therefore, according to what you and Lawrence were just discussing, then alienate no, African Americans to, to the point because it, would, it alienates what does that have African, to do Americans, with African Americans, and therefore, does that mean an African American judge who might be offended by birtherism could not preside over a case involving Donald Trump if they were offended by that birtherism? That doesn't make any sense at all whatsoever. Black people are not offended because maybe somebody was or was not born in this country. Barack Obama is not the standard bearer for all black Americans in this country. And I could sit here and say, for one, that I never considered voting for him because his policies are horrendous. And we've seen that play out now. Birtherism is not a policy. So it, this, is not, this is apples and oranges. Okay. Katrina, uh, oh. Donald Trump has asked to see the college transcript of exactly one politician in American history. There's only one he's wondering about. And that's Barack Obama. Is that because Barack Obama is black? Well, I think it's because most presidential candidates have been asked to see no, their haven't. college transcripts. No, they haven't. Uh, several of them I have. I know this and is your first presidential campaign, them. but no, they haven't. And several of them have released them, but for whatever reason, Barack Obama has not, and in fact, spent money on sealing oh, so those documents. Can, can you get Donald Trump to release his is. college transcript this afternoon? Any chance of that? Can I get yeah. them released this afternoon? Ever. Probably not on ever. a Sunday. C will he Probably ever Probably not on a Sunday. It. Katrina, don't pretend that the college transcript thing is a, nat is a normal thing in presidential campaign. And Donald Trump proved it because it he, didn't, he didn't ask for anyone's president. He didn't ask for any of, of his opponents' time. college transcripts this year. Not one of them. He's only asked from one So you're one saying person. only because Barack Obama is black I'm that asking. he wanted to see his college transcripts? Yeah, it's, it that couldn't possibly absurd. be that, right? It's worth it laughing was a about. Document, it couldn't possibly be that. It was a document right, being really funny hidden. question. Well, we when are, someone we is hiding documents, Katrina. they are asked to release them. Right, it was Katrina. that simple. Katrina, it's not thank just you very much. because we, the man is black. Interesting. All right, well, we've explored your own birtherism, apparently, on the show. Thank you very much, Katrina Pearson. Really appreciate you being here. Lawrence and Michael are sticking around. And we will have much more after the break.